Hi friends, welcome back. And look who I have joining me today. This is Clarice and she is my first Halloween purchase of the season. And I love this. I got her at Home Goods. Every year Home Goods has these witches on stands. And they're different every year. And this is my fourth year of purchasing a witch. So Clarice is my, my newest. I love her because she's got the orange, uh, the orange and purple and black in her little shawl here. She has her little black kitty with her that she's holding. <coughs> she has her lovely hat here. And what I love best is she is on a stand and she's rather tall. So I'm going to show you the rest of her, which is she is riding a broom. She is riding a broom and she is sitting atop. It almost looks very steampunky kind of thing, which, which I also loved. But um, yeah, so she's on her broom. Whoops. And then of course she has this little dead spider in front of her too. So I just had to show off my newest acquisition and my very first purchase for Halloween 2020. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna put Clarice down now because the real reason for this video is I have a mystery to solve. Yep, so I got a package in the mail and I, uh, I know who the return address is. I know who the individual is. And I'll just give you her first name because if she's a subscriber, I want her to know I got this package. So her first name is Isabella. So Isabella, if you have a, a channel name, please let me know. Um, I received this package in, um, you know, just an envelope here and there was um, there was a deck inside and the deck was wrapped in um, saran wrap and it was placed in one of these um, you know reusable puffy things it was wrapped up in this and no invoice and no note inside and no meanings to the cards. Um, I am a pretty good, I keep pretty good track of my purchases because I want to be aware of what I've received and what I haven't received. And I have been through my emails. I have been through my PayPal's. I have been through my Etsy. I have been through my eBay and I cannot find any indication where I purchased this deck at all. Okay, so there may be a coincidence that I did purchase it and somehow never got a receipt or, or something. It could have happened. Anyway, I need the community's help because I know this deck. Um, I want I wanted this deck but for the life of me I can't remember the name of the deck and I can't find it either I have scoured uh, Google mr. Google is not giving me any answers and Ms. Etsy isn't helping me any either because I figured it could be one or um, it could have been one of those and I also checked my Instagram uh, because often I'll find and purchase decks, but I got nothing. So I need the community's help um, to let me know if you know what this deck is, first of all, and two, if you can help me obtain the meanings to the cards. Um, and Isabella, if you are out there, love, thank you so much. Um, also, please contact me by email, which is in the about section of my uh, channel here. Please send me an email so I can uh, chat with you. I would absolutely love to. Um, I thank you so much for this deck. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome. 
I just wish I knew more about it. So anyway, without further ado, I will show you the mystery deck. So here is the back. And the deck is, uh, it's definitely an oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. Um, so that's the back. And this is also the back on a portion of the deck as well. Um, I think it might be like the minor, the majors. I don't know. There's, there's got to be a semblance of why these are brown and why those are black. So anyway, but here, here is, here's our deck. So we have the crone. The artwork on this is just beautiful. The healer. I just wish I knew who the deck author was. Oh, a little bit of nudity in here. But the artwork is beautiful. The cardstock is lovely as well. Um, good cardstock. And it is, uh, it is silver gilded. I'll show you that at the end. I would love to use this deck. It's coming perfect time of year to be using this. Um, I just need some more information on it. Uh, I love the raven head up here. And this is one of my favorite cards. This is the card that really kind of made me want this deck. So, yeah. So those are all the brown cards. And I'll show you here. You can see that it's it's silver gilded here on the side. The card stock is wonderful. It's going to shuffle like a dream. And it's going to last and, and be durable. So, okay. So we have the air. So let me know if anybody knows who this deck is. Is Isabella the creator? Because if you are, this is a gorgeous deck. I love it. I really do. Oh, that was a good one too. When I look through the cards, this is another one I like as well. Of course, it's a severed head. Why wouldn't I like that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um... I, I can't wait to use it. It's it's beautiful. I love the uh, Celtic knotwork around for the borders. I think it helps to make the, the photo stand out more. Um, but yeah, these these are great. These are absolutely great. And uh, yeah. And as soon as I find out the name of the deck, the creator, where you can get it and stuff, I will definitely be posting that in uh, the description area below for anybody else who would love to have this deck because I think it is just beautiful in its simplicity. Um, and I think it would provide a nice round out for a tarot reading. Um, depending on the meanings, I think it might actually be a great reader all by itself, too. Um, I love some of the words that have been chosen for, um, for the artwork. And you can see not everything has color to it, and I appreciate that, too, for summer. They do have the, the seasons here. And I think they have full moon and new moon. And I'm not reading it because to me the words are showing up backwards. And I don't <laughs> read well backwards. But for you guys, I know it's showing up forwards. So there. There's the waning moon. So it does have some moon phases in it as well. Um, yeah. But I just, I really like this deck. It's just... The artwork, I think, is beautiful. Um, yeah, there's the waxing moon, I believe. The winter. 
so wonderful. Look at that move. Beautiful artwork. Serious. And then the very last card is the chariot, the chariot. So there you have it, guys. There is my mystery. I'm giving you the opportunity to help me out here so I can use this wonderful deck and properly thank the, the wonderful woman who sent it to me and, you know, if you are the creator to be able to shout you out and, um, you know, let people know where they too can buy this deck. All right. Sending y'all lots of love. See you on the next one.